what's up you guys it's your girl deja d and today i'm here to give you all some tips on how to get the perfect photo well i'm not going to necessarily say perfect because i don't think that anything's perfect it's all in perspective but these are some tips that i like to do and things i like to make sure i have when i'm about to take a photo just to help get the best outcome if you're interested make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a comment of what tip is your favorite also let me know what your instagram is be sure to tag me on instagram if you do any other tips my instagram name is up on the screen make sure you subscribe and let's watch the full video okay so one thing that i like to make sure that i do before i take a photo is have a clean background i feel like some of these things are kind of like you think it's common sense but it's really not so common so for me i like to make sure that i have either i'm outside and it's nice and clear if i'm going to take a photo in my room i like to make sure my background is cute background is clear you know you can either do a nice sit down clean white wall um just make sure your background is clear if you're going to be doing an outside photo just make sure that you're in an area that you you think is pleasant to the eye i know a lot of outfits also go good with good um background so if i'm wearing something that's the more street style you don't necessarily want to be in like a ballroom <laughs> if you're wearing something dressy you wouldn't go stand in a parking garage if that makes sense like you know you would just try to find things that fit the theme i'm gonna have some examples up on the side so like in this photo i have the blue and i have the leather but i really wanted to show my outfit so i went and got this bright scenery you see the grass in the background you see it's nice and bright and clear you just want to make sure that the background and everything is just going good with the photos as best as possible you also want to try to choose backgrounds that are good so if you're going to have on a more white outfit you don't want to stand in front of a white wall it's going to wash you out if you're going to have on like a white outfit try to get somewhere with some color some different scenery if you're going to have on like a flashy outfit you want to go somewhere that's a little more chill you know then you could go to like the parking garage and you know the cool little solid white backdrop so we could focus directly on your outfit you don't want to be in a busy outfit in a busy background because they're not going to really be able to focus on you so you want to make sure that you're going places and you're taking backgrounds that are one clean two not too distracting from what you really want them to focus on if you want them to focus on the background you wear a simple outfit you want them to focus on your outfit you get a simple background i think that's a good way to explain it just make sure that it's nice and clean please because i'm the type of person if you take a mirror photo and it's dirty in the background or if you take a photo and it's dirty in the background ciao i'm zooming in and it's gonna send to the group chat i mean i'm gonna say i mean it's it's you hate to say it you hate to say dang girl like you know it got sent to the group chat i hope you know people don't send it to the group chat da, 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 da. but you know when you see them little shares on inside somebody is talking about your dirty background so make sure your backgrounds are clean make sure that they're clear make sure they're not dirty so you can get that good photo and when people send you your things it's only getting sent to the story or they getting sent to the group chat to say dang shawty fine or they haters let them just hate on you not give them stuff to hate if they're gonna hate they're gonna be a hater wanting to be you and not a hater talking about girl the cheeto pack on the ground your priorities you got on them cute shoes but your cheeto pack on the ground this second tip that i have also might seem kind of self-explanatory but the lighting the lighting the lighting the lighting really matters i oftentimes make sure that i hurry up and get dressed in the morning time so i could catch some good sunlight and i could get out there and get my photos before it gets too dark especially now in the winter time because daylight savings has it getting dark at like four o'clock pitch black outside so just make sure you get that good lighting make sure you're getting up getting out wake up early so you can get yourself together take those good photos outside and if you're going to wait until it's dark outside make sure you have the proper flash make sure you try to find a lit area it's kind of hard but it's doable um i use studio lighting when i'm in my room at night time is also when i film so if you're going to use like inside lighting try to get some studio lights i move these like if i go downstairs to take a photo or if i'm in my room and i'm going to have some ex you know examples right here but just make sure you got that good lighting also you don't want to take your pictures if the sun is here you don't want to be here like wait hold on if your sun is here you want to face the sun so the sun is beaming on you and not behind you so if the sun is here you want to be here not if the sun is here i'm here you want to be in front of the sun so it's shining on you and not shining behind your photos unless i see some people take photos where the sun was behind them but it takes a lot of skill and a lot of photography skill at that so um 
try to face the sun try to have the sun shining on you not too bright you could click on the screen and you could click on your body and it would you know bring the light down but if i could get an example of when the light is too bright i think i have some examples in my camera roll so i'll put those here so this is an example when the light is too bright y'all see that so it's like i have too much sun exposure on me you could tap the screen you could tap yourself and it'll bring the lighting down so the lighting will go like this it'll be nice it'll be not washed out you don't want to look washed out in your photos so make sure your lighting is key make sure it's not too dark we want to be able to see you we want to make sure we can see everything that's going on i i sometimes get mad when i'm like oh like it's so dark i could um uh, depending on how dark it is you could kind of finesse it with some editing so let me know if y'all want a video on editing get my page to 2k and i'll do a whole sit down if we get my page to 2000 subscribers once we hit 2k we're going to um do a whole photo day you're gonna watch me get ready you're gonna watch me go set up everything take the photos edit the photos and post the photos everything like that so let me know if y'all want to do that get this video to well get this page to 2k we're going to go ahead and do that for you all so anyways um you could you could edit the vid, uh, photo depending on how dark it is sometimes it's too dark to save it's too not enough light we want to be able to see you if people cannot see you in the photo they're most nice most likely not going to like it so you want to make sure you get something people can see something that's fresh you want to make sure you got that good lighting that good golden hour sunshine make your black girl magic you know all shin all skin tones everything you just want to look great okay so get that lighting so we can see all the effort all that time to make you took you to get that makeup that haircut that fresh hairdo that outfit you got on we want to make sure we can see it all okay so make sure you got that good light next thing that i think is very very important for photos is like what you're which what, you, what you look like you got to make sure your appearance is key so that's not necessarily saying you have to wear makeup that's not necessarily saying you have to have on weave a popping outfit this then the third it's just make sure you look nice and put together if you look sloppy in a photo it's not hot nobody wants to see a sloppy photo so whether you're taking it and you're just chilling hanging out if you don't want no stains on your shirt you don't want no wrinkly you know balled up clothes nobody wants to see that your hair don't need to be all over the place you know you could brush it up you could just wash you know just make yourself look presentable so whatever that means to you we're just gonna leave it at that. It's just make yourself look presentable, make yourself look camera ready. It does not have to be a full face of makeup. If it's, I woke up and I just took the crust out of my eyes, at least if you just take the crust out your eyes, brush your teeth, get the jewel off your face, you know, go like this, get the lint off your shirt, get the crumbs off of your clothes. Just look presentable, okay? That's the only thing. Look presentable, look like you had, you, you know, you don't wanna post no crazy looking stuff. Now I get a good, no makeup selfie i get a good every you know off day outfit you know type of things like that that's cool i'm just saying whatever just be aware of what you look like you know what i mean nothing's worse you ever have those days when it's like your mom or your dad or somebody wants to come to you and say take a picture and you're like but mom like i'm just been chilling in the house all day and then you want to take a picture or after those hard football games and hard soccer games and everything like that and they're like all right, everybody take a picture and it's like you could have took the picture before the game when i was still looking cute now you want to take the picture i got mud all on me and it's like you standing in the picture like that that's what i mean when i say get your you know get yourself together get yourself fresh get yourself fly so just those are that's what i mean that example that i just gave you that feeling after you didn't just went outside to play your mama want to take your picture you're like ma like can I go get a, can I go put on some clothes? Can I go, can I go wash the dirt off of me? Can I go do that? Make sure you don't feel like that. That's a good example. And the last thing that I'm going to close this video off is just to make sure that you feel confident. When you feel confident, it exudes in your photo. It, it, it affects your poses. It affects your whole, your whole idea. When you feel confident, one, you're going to think every picture you took is bomb. Maybe not a hundred percent of them. But when you feel like you look good, when you feel like you, when you feel good, you're going to be posed and you're not going to care about none of that. You're not going to care about anything. You're going to feel confident. People are going to know that you're a very confident person. If you're standing there and you don't feel good about nothing, then that's not the day to take pictures. That's not the day to create content. The days that I feel like I just don't feel like it, we just not going to force it. We're just not going to force it at all because I know that it's not going to be A1. The days that I feel good, we're getting up. We're going to take some content. I'm going to pose. 
I'm gonna feel myself. You're gonna feel good. And then when you feel good, you pose good. When you feel good, you think you look good. So then when you think you look good, you're more likely to be happy with the photos that you take. When you're more likely to be happy with the photos that you take, you're gonna come up with a bomb caption. And when you come up with a bomb caption and you have bomb photos and you feel confident, it don't matter how many likes you got. You feel good about those photos and you're gonna like them. So they're gonna be up there on your page no matter if 50 people like it, 12 people like it, or a million people like it. It's good. And I just think that um, it's all about your attitude and how you carry it. So, you know, you carry yourself like a gajillion bucks, you're gonna get a gajillion likes. And I don't think that likes equals a good photo. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Likes don't equal a good photo. Cause I know some people that be that be having a lot of likes in that photo don't be I. So just make sure you're having fun with it, okay? When you feel good, you're gonna look good. Make sure you're having fun. This should be a fun thing to do. I love playing dress up. I love taking photos. I love creating content. It's super fun to me. So just make sure that it's fun, okay? Anything, anytime you go to take photos, do not get super, super serious. The moment it's not fun is the moment you gotta cut the camera off because this should be a very fun thing. It's very fun to just take pictures, post them, put on a cute outfit. This should be fun. I call it playing dress up. So make you, make yourself feel like you're playing dress up. Um, if you want some pose ideas, I'll leave my um, pose ideas video in the cards as well as at the end of this video make sure you get this video to 2k so we could do the full photo editing everything like that and i think that's about it i think that's about it all right you guys i love you all so much thank you all for all my new subscribers i hope you all enjoy this content let me know what kind of videos you want to see on my channel in the description box don't forget to comment your instagram and your favorite tip from this video, subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.